as you follow your path in life. I have with me, I have Ashley here. Yeah, round of applause for Ashley. These are people that are making things work for you. And of course, I have my boss standing here. Uh, that is Paula as well. Okay, it's so simple here. We try much as possible to make the environment suitable for you. Anything you want that will make it suitable and okay for you, please ask me. Ask Ashley, or you have I have another colleague in there, Orena, that you can also talk to. You must also understand that these volunteers are working. I decided to call my impact knowledge into you guys as well. So I do not take uh, my volunteers for granted. They are definitely happy to be here and be supportive of your career in life. And like you guys to sign back into your tablets if they're off. What we're going to do is we're going to move on to our budget section of our simulation today. So after research, which is you guys going to different kiosks and reading about the different services that are offered, the things that you have the budget for, what you're going to do is actually create that budget with your net monthly income that you make with your career and your circumstances. So. Um, I do want to make sure that everybody here has applied for loans. All three loans. Can somebody tell me what all three loans that you were supposed to apply for, what they are? Yeah, I do see a hand. What are the three loans? Transportation, Dr. Abel Boss, as well as our principal from Everton High School, Mrs. Wright, and the instructors of JTC, Major Monroe and Sergeant Harvey Craig, for welcoming us here and just to for providing us with this experience. And it was just so nice to be here. So if you give us another round of applause for them, that'd be great. Woo! So here we have three awards, which is. The Certificate of Appreciation, which is awarded to Santander. Mm -hmm. Please give it a round of applause for that. The certificate says, in recognition of outstanding support and dedication and for being a driving force in keeping the U.S. Army GRGC goal of motivating young people to be better citizens alive. Congratulations. Thank you. Yeah. 
one thing I would like to say is that don't get married. Don't get married because like it's like having an older son you have to take care of. <laughs> no, because you have to get the clothes. You gotta get them the car. They're supposed to buy you the car. Why am I buying him the car? Why am I buying him the gas? Why am I buying him clothes? He's supposed to give me, not the other way around. Okay, I mean. I have a point. So basically, the furniture part, I I budgeted for every other thing. When it got to the furniture, I didn't have enough money for a chair. I was I was gonna be sitting on the floor. Like who's gonna do that? I need somebody else that has money. That can afford. Your husband makes enough money that could cover you. <laughs> Especially if you are a very single parent and you can't really escape, it's it's depend on the amount of children you have. As Rebecca said, having a child is very expensive, and it's a big responsibility as well as if um, if they grow up and they have any health, like anything to do with health, you have to pay for the hospital bills and medical. Um, and today in the JA place, I learned that insurance is very important because. Imagine your car got in an accident or your house got on fire. When you pay for insurance, you don't have to worry about how much money you have to pay when that happens. And life insurance, when you die, that's the amount of money you live for your family. In case they don't, they're not grown enough to have a job, you can have enough money to live for your children, enough money to live for your parents. Maybe they're old enough and they don't have enough money, you can live your life insurance for them and then when your house burned down or your or your car is in an accident you don't have to worry about oh i have to buy a new car with so much money because you have your car insurance and you have your house insurance at the ja finance um, simulation i was a 26 year old accountant with one child and with a spouse and in terms of my um, career i'm with I am an accountant with a bachelor's degree and when it comes to college that's obviously a lot of money in terms of tuition which which consists of paying for books and paying for classes and semesters so I would have to like basically budget everything out in order for me to like have less to, like little to none in, in terms of student debt or debt overall as my debt was $31,500 so I have to think of that and then of course now I have a child who's four years old so I have to budget that as well as they start getting older I'm gonna have to pay for their supplies as well so it's just it's just a mind game of how you have to calculate and how you have to 
make compromises. Thank you. I, there was a scenario where I had um, to deal with childcare. In my reality scenario, I was a mother, 29 year old mother with two kids. And I did not know that um, my children were taking a big percentage of my money. So childcare basically is a part of your budget that is extremely expensive. In the world today, a lot of people have kids and they don't like budget for their kids. If you're not careful, if your financial status is not good, if you're not managing it well, childcare is a type of um, budget that you could exceed that would take a lot of your money. This speaks about housing and its experience, and I know a lot about housing due to the fact that I have grandparents who are owners after paying off their mortgage, which defines um, having a bank provide you with a loan and how you're going to actually have to pay that off. But of course, in order to get a loan, you're going to have to have a great credit score, score which would, which means that people can actually trust you or like investors can trust you if whether or not they can actually provide you with that loan. So housing is just not about like paying for it. You have to keep it up to date with maintenance, with like your gas, your electricity, home improvements. And there's also like investments in terms of being able to like buy or rent a house and like gain money from that as well. So this was very interesting for me to like explore on. For today, uh, today I learned about real life experience, real life situations of you know being single and uh, being single and being married. I learned uh, being able to choose my careers, being able to choose my careers based on my characteristics, based on what I like to do. Uh, I've been able to uh, think outside the box, being able to make calculations on tax payments. I've been able, you know, because of that, I'm very grateful for the experience I learned today. And I'm, I know it's going to work in the future. And for that, I'm very grateful to the JA. Thank you very much.